In this video, I will show you how to build a blockchain app on the Ethereum blockchain without any coding. We are going to use so-called no-code tools where you have a visual editor and you just use your mouse to click and drag and drop. This is useful not only if you don't know how to code, but even as a developer, it can be very useful to quickly prototype a project. I will review three different no-code tools for building blockchain apps and tell you what are the pros and cons. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain. Quick note for people who are just getting started in blockchain. You can make some money by trading cryptocurrencies, but you probably won't become rich like this. In this industry, the best opportunities goes to technical people. The market for blockchain developers is super hot right now with salaries of $100,000 per year and more, and there are many remote working opportunities. So if you want to learn how to become a professional blockchain developer and make that kind of salary, check out my free training down below on how to become a blockchain developer. Before starting to build a blockchain application, you need to understand the architecture, even as a non-coder. First, we have a smart contract. This is a small program that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. This is what makes blockchain apps so special. The code of the smart contract is immutable, meaning it cannot be changed. It's also unstoppable. Once you deploy the smart contract to the blockchain, there is no way to change its code. That's why we need to make sure everything is correct before deploying the smart contract. If you want to interact with the smart contract, you need to use the scary command line. It's not really ideal for most people. That's why we need to create a user-friendly UI for end users. We call this the front end. It can be a web application or a mobile app. If it's a mobile app, it will be installed directly on the device of users. And if this is a web application, and if this is a web application, the front end will need to be hosted on a server somewhere. That's what we call the back end. Our blockchain app is this whole thing, backend, frontend, and smart contract. We also call this a decentralized application or a dApp. Okay, so now you are a pro in blockchain architecture. Next, let's see how to create a blockchain app with some no-code tools. I try to allow you to build a full blockchain application on Ethereum with the frontend and the smart contract. First, you have to register and you will have access to your dashboard. After, you need to create a D table. A D table is how you define the data on your smart contract. For each entity you create, you will give it different fields, each with name and type. It's very similar to when you create a table in a database. When you are finished, you need to deploy the D table to the blockchain. Each D table is a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Before you deploy it, make sure that you have defined your D-table properly because once the smart contract of your D-table is deployed to the blockchain, it's not possible to modify it anymore. Atra supports the Ethereum mainnet as well as the RingB testnet. When you are still in the building phase, you probably want to use the RingB testnet and after testing, you can redeploy everything to mainnet. Next, you have to define triggers. Triggers is where you define your business logic. In other words, how the data of your D table changes. You can add some rules about inserting, updating, or deleting existing data. For example, you could restrict the modification of data to only some addresses or require that the address that want to modify data also send some ether. After, you have to create the front end. You are going to use a menu called Light UI. With the drag and drop menu, you can define the different elements of your UI and connect them to your D table and triggers. Once you are done, Atra will give you a URL for your front end. This will be the URL from which users will access your blockchain app. The last component of Atra is called Light Wallets. Light Wallets allow you to manage your users. You can map Ethereum addresses to emails and only allow these addresses in your blockchain application. Another cool feature of Atra is the auto-generated API. For each blockchain application, Atra generates automatically a REST API to read or modify data, which can be very useful if you need to integrate your blockchain app with other applications. If you want to see some examples of blockchain apps built by other people, you can check out the public app explorer of Atra. My impression of Atra is really good. It's really a well-polished product. Next, I'm going to show you another blockchain app builder called SimbaChain. You start by defining what is in your smart contract. You can define assets and transactions. Assets represent the things in your business that need to be tracked. For example, vehicle, shipping containers, files, etc. Transactions are any business processes or states 
that use or impact assets. You can also set permissions to restrict access of the smart contract to certain addresses. And once you've defined your smart contract visually, the code of the smart contract is generated automatically. You can click here to inspect the code. The next phase is the deployment phase. In this phase, we will deploy the smart contract to the Ethereum network and deploy the front end of our blockchain app. To deploy your smart contract, you will need an address and some ether in it. You can add your address in Simba chain like this. Next, you need to choose on which blockchain you want to deploy. Simba chain supports Ethereum as well as a couple of other blockchains. One interesting feature is the use of IPFS to store blockchain data. It's expensive to store a large piece of data on the blockchain, so Simba offers the option to store some data on IPFS instead of the blockchain. Like for Atra, they also have an auto-generated REST API for your blockchain application to easily interact with your blockchain app from other applications. So what are my impressions of Simba Chain? I like that they have the option to store data on IPFS. I also like that they have the option to deploy to several different blockchains beside Ethereum. However, I didn't really understand the system of graphs for building smart contracts and also found that the UI wasn't really great. The last tool I want to show you is called Dab Builder. With Dab Builder, you simply choose from one of their templates and you can customize some parameters. You click on create and it deploys both the spot contract and the front end. That's all you have to do. My impression of Dab Builder is that it's definitely more simple than other blockchain app builders. However, it's much less flexible since you can only choose from one of their templates. Also, when I tried to deploy my blockchain app, there was a bug and it actually didn't work. I checked the social media and there hasn't been any activity for a while. So I'm actually not sure if the project is still alive. So out of all these no-code app builders, which one to use to create your blockchain app? The one I like the most is Atra. It's very flexible, the UI is great, the documentation is great, it really looks the most polished and the most well maintained out of all the blockchain app builders I show you. So I would recommend start with this one. If the tools I show you in this video are not powerful enough for your needs, you might want to search for other no-code tools designed for web application, not just specifically for blockchain like bubble.io. Some of these tools will only allow you to build the front ends, not the smart contract, but sometimes you will also find plugins for blockchain. If you are into no code tool, next you can check out my other video where I show how to create a flash loan without any coding. Flash loans are a way to borrow a lot of money on the blockchain and use it to make even more money with arbitrage or liquidation. I will see you there.